The stars are among us. The small town of Fairmont became a movie set for a day as award-winning actor Colin Firth and Emily Blunt teamed up to star in Arthur Newman, Golf Pro. The film has a UNCP connection. Theater professor Holden Hansen plays opposite of Firth, a small role which was filmed in Wilmington, North Carolina. Since June, 911 calls made in Maxton have been redirected to the Robinson County Sheriff's Department. But it turns out they just tell callers to hang up and dial the Maxton police directly. After cuts to the police budget, the town had to get rid of its 911 system, but not all Maxton residents knew about it. Trick-or-treating students gathered here at the UNCP bookstore for the 13th annual costume contest. They enjoyed Halloween festivities, including competing for various prizes. <laughs> From characters such as the Super Mario Brothers all the way to Elvis, UNCP students indulged in refreshments and prepared themselves for the contenders. Whether you're starting out or starting over, start your new career at Southeastern Community College in Whiteville. Now is the time to prepare for the job you've always wanted. You may be surprised by how affordable college can be. Financial aid and child care assistance may be available. Apply now for fall classes. Our admission counselors are ready to help. For more information, call 642-7141 or visit sccnc.edu. Start at Southeastern now. On campus this week when a parade and pep rally marked the halfway point in UNCP's homecoming week festivities. Student organizations borrowed floats and nearly every Robinson County marching band participated. Nominated National Minority Construction Firm of the Year, Metcon has proven its excellence in the UNCP community. Metcon was founded in 1999, certified by the NC Office for Historically Underutilized Businesses. As an American Indian-owned construction business, Metcon is organized to assist clients in managing the construction process from start to finish. There was a bit of father and daughter bonding at the polls in Mansfield, Texas. A 19-year-old first-time voter had a surprise for her father, who just became an American citizen in time for the election. CNN's Teresa Woodward was there and has the story. A loaded handgun was found in a passenger's bag at the Fayetteville Regional Airport this week. Transportation Security Administration found a loaded 45 caliber pistol in the carry-on bag. Come join us at the 5K Run Walk with the Hawk on Wednesday, November 30th at 4 p.m. to promote Health's new walking trail. Hmm, I wonder, could I win this race? May the hawk be with you. The park was put to good use this past month. Once a week, the park was transformed to host a concert series to promote peace. CNT correspondent Hillary Akers has the story. I'm serious, Stu. I'm going to ask her out. Jeff, you don't even know her. And I thought you were so in love with Mrs. Mason's secretary. What do you mean Romeo and Juliet isn't a love story? Are you out of your mind? It's the greatest love story of all time. <laughs> <laughs> UNCP students argue that the price of a parking pass isn't equivalent to the parking spaces available. Students at UNCP feel that there is not enough parking availability, but campus officials beg to differ. It's National Campus Safety Month, so the University Police Department held a safety fair to raise awareness of fire hazards and crime. The size of the campus, I like um, not the classes aren't too big. And there's nice faculty, professors, and students here. During this time of the semester, most classes are facing comprehensive exams, but UNCP's choreography group demonstrated what they've learned throughout the term for their final. Their production, called In Retrospect, was a fusion of modern-day dance with music from the past. Theater faculty member Natalie Smith explains the tradition. Well, the dance show for us really started as something very informal a few years ago. We started out just showing a couple pieces from my dance class. For Carolina News Today. For Carolina News Today. For Carolina News Today, I'm Joshua Shipman. See you next time.